Hey folks, Hisaki here. Today I want to present you a workout that I do regularly since several years and that I can recommend very well. In the first point, we as martial artists, we are always somewhere in between. There are many, you, you can't have enough endurance, you can't be strong enough, you can't be flexible enough. But on the other hand, this leads to, leads to to an increase of the training's volume that you perhaps just don't manage to fit. And therefore I'm doing this kind of workout to do both cardio and strength training. Um, contrary to, to a workout in the gym, you will see that it is a lot, um, a lot of, of cardiovascular training. And on the other hand, contrary to just going running or cycling or whatever, when you have a pure cardio training, you will see that we use our whole body and that we do kind of interval training where we use every, every major muscle group and therefore we also build muscle and strength. Perhaps we don't increase in our strength as fast as we would do as we, when we do a three times split in the gym, but it's a kind of compromise and I think when you do this workout twice a week, so to say, perhaps if you like, you can also do it just once or whenever you like, um, you will gain very good results in comparison to, to the very big um, training volume that you would need otherwise. And therefore I really recommend um, this workout and I want to show it to you today. The other advantage of the workout is that it is very flexible. I will show you five exercises that I do at the moment. But you can use any other exercises. The exercises I use, I would say, are on an intermediate to difficult level, so they're, they're quite exhausting. And I didn't start like that. I did this workout the first time about, that, don't let me lie, about three or four years ago, I guess. And there I used a lot easier exercises. And I increased the number of repetitions first, then I changed the exercises. So the, I always adapted the workout to what I wanted to train and to my current abilities. And now I want to show it to you as I'm doing it now, but I will also give you some advice also at the end on other exercises and yeah, how you can adapt it. The big advantage is that we use mainly um, body weight exercises, or it can be done with only body weight exercises. I will use also some dumbbells, but that's not necessary. Um, so it's also possible to do this workout in any circumstance. If you're not at home, if you're on holidays, if you are on a business trip or whatever in the hotel room, and you can do it within 45 minutes to one hour. And I tell you, you get good stamina and good results, especially for, for fighting or for parkour. I mean, not the, the parkour the kids do where they do one trick and they, then they start over and over again. I mean, for real, they, for sports where you use in a short amount of time nearly your entire body, where you have to work hard, where all muscle groups are used, where you go to the limit with your cardio, like in Jiu Jitsu or something like that, this workout will really improve you. I am sure it's much better than going running and it's much more efficient to use your time to do this one hour than to go one hour in the park and go running. I mean, I was running for many years and I Usually then, for, for a long period, I did the pose, one day the workout, the next day running, always changing, and in the evenings I did my martial arts and technique training. Nowadays I have unfortunately much less time due to my job, but still I try to do the workout at least once a week, perhaps also twice. Sometimes I go running, sometimes I go to the gym and do some strength training, but I still do this kind of workout because it's really very efficient and it is very, in a very short time you have a very efficient training. So what it is about? The workout itself follows a pyramidal system, so that means you can adjust your number of repetitions. I will do today 10 reps, then 15, then 20, then 25, then 30, and then I go the way down again. Then I do 25, 20, 15, and 10. And I do different kind of um, exercises. The first exercise will be ordinary burpees, just go down like this. And then on the feet and up. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. The second exercise is I do push-ups with my legs up here. So it's more shoulder and chest training. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Afterwards, I get my dumbbells. It's better if you have a long bar, then you can take it on the shoulder. These are together 37 kilos. And then I do squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do it a bit slow now. I'll show you a bit the technique. Generally, I try to be very fluid. Then I do, I don't know how you call it, and lift my legs, I lay down, I put my upper body a bit up so I have tension here in the stomach, and then I raise my legs. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now comes the last exercise. It's a kind of rowing exercise with the dumbbells. Take them. Stand like this, lean a bit in front. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I go to the next step of the pyramid and I do the 15 repetitions. I will do now the whole workout. We'll put some music on and you can see it in, um, in fast forward, otherwise it takes too much time. I try to keep the breaks between the sets very short, as short as possible to have a good cardio training. And I try to do the whole workout in a time less than one hour. So just to check it. And each time I do it, I try to be a bit faster. So to say, and then when I get under a certain limit of time, I will use more heavy exercises or Increase the number of repetitions you can do was 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 40, 30, 20, 10. If you do easier exercises, yeah, you can play around with that. So just watch as I'm doing it, and yeah, with the higher number of reps, the technique might get very dirty of some of the exercises, but that's not so important. It's more important to complete the workout, and your body will get used to it and you can improve the technique on certain exercises. So let's go. Drink something, and I just drink some water. I'm 
standing on the frequency rate than the one in the high. Let's just go too high. so noisy. Um, unfortunately, the camera went off. I did not really realize it, but anyway, I think the principle became clear. I guess you saw the first 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25 reps, and I did 10, uh, 20, 15, and 10 of the same exercises. As I promised, I will show you now some other exercises you can do. Alternatively, you see that my muscles are really pumped up in the middle. It was the most painful really when you do the, at least for me it's the case, when I do the 25 and 30 reps, I'm really so pumped up that it's really painful and therefore I need to do some break between the sets. I try to keep them very short. I'm really exhausted now. And I'm sure I need to sleep the night and tomorrow I will be recovered but I will be killed the rest of the day. I will drink some sugars after the training. They will give me some more energy. And since Friday and the weekend is coming, I don't want to go to sleep too early today, so I will also use some caffeine to to bridge the sleepness in a way and yeah of course I will not go to the disco and dance like crazy anymore. But it will be sufficient to hang around normally. Um, yeah, as I promised, I want to show you some different exercises. Today I was a bit exhausted, I needed a bit longer than one hour. Usually I can complete it in around about one hour. I try to push the time. When I started to do this workout, I did a totally different workout from the exercise. First, I did ordinary sit ups, I was just lying. And then I was getting up, I tuck in the legs a bit, and I moved the hands in front of my head, like in a boxing position, in principle, 
I could do like this for a while. I also did that during the workout, but I'm not doing it now anymore. And then I, I don't know, I had different steps on the pyramid. I did 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, whatever. Sometimes I did up to 50 and downwards, but then in 10 or steps. Or sometimes I did until 40 in 5 steps, then 1 of 60 and then 40, 35, 30. But I did a lot easier exercises. I did the, uh, the sit-ups and I did these kind of jumps. That's really kind of cardio workout. And then I did ordinary push-ups, just like this. They are way easier than these. Also some kind of jumps and, and down and jump up. Just like this. Yeah. And there yeah, are a variety of other things. I did dips sometimes in between. So during all the last years, I modified it really often. It's just like that. Put your feet somewhere, this kind of dips. Then yeah, just ordinary squats like this. We are trying really to stay straight in the upper body, a bit kung fu style. Touch the ground in front and behind my body, something like this. Yeah. Then later on, I did single leg squats just with a chair, but. One leg upon the chair, and then I just so you know, like squats, like this. I was very efficient with the back of the bicep, the leg biceps, the back of the leg. Yeah, I did just some ordinary bicep curls with the dumbbells. You need just a little bit into the front, and then left, right, left, right, left. Just like that. And yeah. Sometimes I did also chins. When I always say chins is a very hard exercise, still nowadays. Therefore, I don't do them anymore. Because usually when I did 10 ordinary reps, I did only 5 chins, or when I did 20 then at the tensions in what is okay. But I'm very very satisfied with the exercise I have now because they stress me on a similar level in each exercise, so it's really hard for me to complete the 30 reps and also the 25 on the way up and the 25 on the way down are pretty hard. The 20 I can do very well and the 10 and 15 is just for the warm-up and in the end for also for calming a bit down, usually I take a bit more time than in the last two sets. If I want to push really the time, I give everything there, but often it's like, okay, I completed in 52, 55 minutes, and then doing now 15 and 10 reps, and then I don't focus that I do in really five minutes. Sometimes I take myself a bit more time, like 10 minutes or something, just to do the last two steps of the pyramid and to listen a bit to the body and to let the heart rate come a bit down, yeah, to, to enjoy a bit the feeling of having completed the workout, you know. And that's it, I think it's a very good workout. Um, yeah, really, for the purpose of technical sports, like fighting, kung fu, parkour, free running, especially in the winter when you don't have you cannot do long sessions uh, or you cannot go to the gym or whatever, you can do it at home and it's on, on days where you don't have time, you know. Sometimes it's like you plan to go to the training in the evening, you want to be there at half past five or whatever and train until eight and suddenly you can leave at work just at seven and then you come home and then instead of doing nothing you can do one hour of the workout and at eight, half past eight you're finished and everything's fine and the gym would have been closed and you could have Train only half an hour in the gym or whatever. And for that purpose, I really recommend this work. I'm doing it since so many years, and, and always I can progress in the way, and it gives me what I need. I, I've done real strength training for a long time, or running, and for both of these kind of exercises, the running gives me very stiff legs, it's 
very uncomfortable for the kicks afterwards. I have to stretch a lot. And it's very similar with the strength training. When I do these very heavy weights, then just 5 to 8 reps or something like that, I am so tired, so exhausted. Usually I do that for two or two and a half hours and then yeah my, my muscles are really exhausted very deep in, in the in the core of the muscles so I need often two regeneration days to recover fully. And this workout, yeah next day I'm fit, I'm flexible and I can feel that that I increased in, in many ways, you know, it's coordination, it's cardio and it is muscle strength and that's what you want for the purpose of, of doing something real instead of just posing or whatever, you know what I mean? For the purpose of working with your body. I hope you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment on what you like, what you didn't like, if there are questions and I would say Stay aware and always one step ahead. See you then.